So for those of you that don't know, Emily and I used to have a uh, Toyota FJ Cruiser, and it was black, but it also had a white roof. That white roof made a huge difference on the heat that would radiate to the vehicle. So when we got this bus, we knew we wanted to paint the roof white. So we know we wanted to paint the roof of the bus white. But I wasn't a huge fan of spending $250 on a five gallon bucket of Henry's Tropical. That seems to be like the number one brand that a lot of people use for this elastomeric style paint. And elastomeric basically just means like it's like a silicone based paint or something like that that reduces heat by 10 to 50%. So it'll cut down a lot. But in our situation, because we're going to be covering the roof with a at least a 10 foot deck and then 10 feet of solar panels, I didn't think it was necessary to spend money on something that is gonna be covered anyways. At least not that amount of money. So I didn't wanna spend $250 on something that you're not really even gonna see or get any benefits out of. But I did wanna still paint the roof white for the areas that are going to be exposed just because it is that well of a heat reduction. So, I actually found Rustoleum's brand of elastomeric paint. It's it's only like fifteen or seventeen dollars a gallon. Our bus is 35 feet long, so it's 200 square feet. I've done two coats so far, which covered the roof entirely, and I've only used like a gallon and a half. So that's right at $30 worth of paint that it's used to reduce this thing by like 10 to 15% in temperature. It's a lot easier to spend $30 than it is to spend 250. If we're talking about gallons, 150, because it's $50 a gallon. That's why we decided not to use Henry's Tropical. If I wasn't going to be covering at least half the roof with panels and decks and boxes and all these other things, that I probably would have done Henry's Tropical because people just rave so much about it. But we really want to do a rooftop deck because it's kind of cool, it looks neat, and then it's also going to give us that, that shade. Shade reduces heat by about 10 to 15% as it is. There's our return on investment right there. And then the solar panels, we've got three 180 watt solar panels that we're about to install. So that covers 10 feet. So that's 20 feet out of the 35 that's already going to be covered. So I just didn't think it was going to be that much of a, uh, a good way to spend our money. So, so that's why we decided not to do it. I'm pretty happy with the decision that I made. So now I just need to build the rooftop deck and then put the solar panels on and then it would be a lot more justifiable. But for now, I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you following along. Like it if you like it. Dislike it if you don't like it. If you want to subscribe, we would appreciate it. Um, but if anything, just share it with anybody you know that might be interested in what we're doing. And like I said before, it's not about schoolies. It's not about minimalism. It's not about tiny houses. But it's about being able to do what you want when you want because you can. So, appreciate it, guys. Oh, yeah. Check out my door. Video is coming for that one. What have you done? Whoa! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm so you okay? I'm coming, hold on. You okay, buddy?